Hello. Now we'll be discussing about LinkQ, that is language integrated query. And we'll be focusing on LinkQ to collection initially. So uh, basis is for LinkQ, if at all one is very familiar with something like let's say firing SQL like queries on top of database, then can we fire SQL like queries on top of collection as well, collection that we own. So to do that job, we'll be using language integrated query similar to HQL in Hibernate. So what I'm going to do is we already have employee class constructed some time back. So I'm going to create now employee class collection here. So let me create collection, let me create list here, list of EMP. Let's name this as employees equal to new list of employees. And using an object initializer way, I'm going to want to initialize all the employees one by one. So let me initialize first employee name, maybe let's say Mahesh. Let's enter address as Pune. Same way, we'll define many number of employees one after another. And let's put up now, another employee has got values one, two, three, four, five. These are their names. Uh, numbers. Let's put now another one as Sachin. Let's put this one as Suresh. Let's put this as Tanvi. Let's put this as Sanam. Now here, if I put up Pune, Panji, suppose Mumbai. Here I'll put now Mangalore, and let's put Sarang to Pune only. So these are the values that we have got. So what is it that we want to do now? We would like to filter values that we have in the collection. You can you can very well guess that imagine that this, this collection is pulled from database. And then every like we fired a query, just imagine we fired the query select star from employees to a database. We've iterated using a data reader. And then we have filled up all the class objects into employees collection. Now it's time that we have to filter and filter further so that the we can find out if somebody has an address which contains P, if somebody has an address which contains N, I would like to find out those people and print their details then on the console. So how do I do this? To do this job, obviously, you may have used for for each loops very often. But then instead of going through loops also, can we have optimized way? So we are going to do that using LinkQ. So how do I fire a LinkQ query? So if I, if the theory part is you have to fire a query like SQL on top of collection, which means theory wise, if you see, you may have a intent, you may have a, a, a feeling like we'll be using select star from employees where employee dot address equal equals or contains P. But then that's a very good sign. But then we are not going to want to write down code like that. Because though we say it's SQL like syntax, actually we don't have a copy based of SQL syntax. We have a little bit different syntax based on the uh, so-called expressions. How is that? So you will start with something like from, which means there's nothing called a select from. You start from from. So from EMP in employees, you will put a where clause after that. So EMP dot, you want address starts with, starts with something which user is going to want enter now. So let's read it from the console only. Then we want to select enter employee itself. And that's it. Important point to note, how many employees I'm going to want get now? Because I'm yet to know what user is going to want pass on then. So point to note again, we can we don't know what's on the right hand side of equal to, whether we'll get a collection, whether we'll get a single object. So when you don't know what's on the right hand side of equal to, you know that you can always use where type in case of problem. So now if at all I put the code here, This way, select the employee and remove the bracket as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to want to print the detail on the console. If I carry a cursor, courtesy of Visual Studio, it can tell you. Just just notice this. Notice what's the written type here. If you notice, written type is I enumerable of EMP, which means this is going to go and return as a collection, no matter how many objects are inside the collection, whether it's one object or many objects. 
it's always going to give us a collection which is result and then now it's time to basically uh, print the data which is filtered result right now so for every item inside so called result i said where item the result is of type collection of emb type which means item will represent employee every time and we can very well go and print the name then so console dot read line let's see what's the result that we get here it's going to expect some parameters so let me put up over here p and then what i get is only starting with maybe there's there's a lot i guess why let me check we have console read line oh okay the problem is we should have taken the value before so let's say right now string maybe city and then we'll pass on city as a parameter over here city character i'll call it as compile the code and execute the code so it's going to expect now so maybe we should prompt user about what to print enter word to filter cities yeah. run the code now now if you see it's going to go and ask something for us you say enter and we'll get mahesh sachin and saran as a result now if i say run and if i put now m over here we'll get suresh and tanvi from mumbai and mangalore if at all instead of putting starts with if you put contains you will get much more better result then so very important point to note here that is we just try to filter the data using normal sql like syntax in case of link queue this is amazing now you can always go into the sort by group by such keywords anyway exist over here now one of the important fact to note about so called you can see collection one question before i proceed suppose if i add one more into employees collection so if i add employees dot add and i'm going to add now one more person let's add one more person as suppose dipesh number maybe letter 16 will put up and address is as usual pune then question to you is after entering a city character starting with p over here what do you think what will be the result what was the result sometime back we had a result like starting with p we had mahesh sachin and sarang now just look at where exactly the code is inserted so if you notice i have inserted the new employee starting with address pune p and then i have a query before that so important point to note i have just added employee after the query is written and now i am going to go and filter the collection or show the collection result out here which means in between the result printing and in between the query i have just authored employees dot add and then i have given deliberately p over here starting with p what do you think that the value will be will it iterate three times or four times will it include dipesh or not so let's run the code and now i am going to put now over here p and if you notice this includes dipesh as well now that's the surprise which means if i ask you a question what does it feel like that is does it execute a query at this line over here or does it execute a query at this line so if you notice this one of the important fact to note about link queue is link queue works on deferred execution which means link queue will not give you anything in the result unless until you start using it and that's what is called as lazy execution as well and that's a very important fact to note about link queue link queue does not execute a query unless and until you really start using the result but then if that's true then let me also show you one more thing suppose if at all i put this entire stuff in bracket and if i say dot to list in my code i'm using extension method now extension method dot to list which means whatever is the output of this first selected part 
will be going as an input to a method called as toList, which means now toList method is going to convert everything into list of EMP. And very important point to note then, if everything is going to be converted into a list, which means everything must pres be present first of all. So in this case, what will happen is query executes and gets code gets executed converted or uh, result gets converted into list. And that's what we are going to want hold into a result now, which means this time if I run, I will not get the page at all. Reason behind that, the query you asked to execute over here itself, because you started using the result in dot to list method itself. So sometime back when to list wasn't there, we started using result here. Now we are not using result only here. We already have used it over here. And as a reason, the page is not part of the result right now. So this is the very important feature of Link queue, which is called as deferred execution, and which is why Link queue is famous for. But then now let's try again adding a code. So I have got employee. Take an example. I am not interested in suppose getting all the employee details. I'm also going to go and comment this code as well. Yeah. Suppose if we are not interested in, let's say, selecting all the employee details, I am only interested in getting number and a name of the person. Selecting entire employee will give us number, name and address as well. I am only interested in number and name now. So what do I do? Here we go. Can I say select me employee.name? What will it return then? Let's see. Carry a cursor over here. If you notice, it's I enumerable of type T and T is string right now, which means link you knows that the collection, what I asked it, select a name only. And then obviously get only name of every employee is going to go and form a string collection. And that's what basically comes up into a result. So what am I supposed to do now for each and every maybe string item into so called result. And you can very well go and print the item only. So if you run this and if you say enter, you will only get the names only over here, which means this code also works very, very fine. So now what if I am not interested in only getting name? What if I also want EMP dot number as well? Will I get one? And then what is it that I'll be getting then? So if at all you uh, see, is it going to go and return us a 2D array which consists of name as well as number? Absolutely no. What kind of a result will be then? This will be. So it's going to go and cause a problem because such things are not allowed. So if you plan to have something similar to literally SQL query like select number, comma name from employee and where clause, that's not going to go and happen here. You can always return one particular type of object or collection of one particular type of object in link queue. So then this thing which is going to be 2D array also is not possible here. Then there has to be a way to basically hold this data. I am not interested in collecting all the data or only name. I want number plus name as well. Then what you do is you can always go for writing one more holder class. So if I write a holder class now, suppose maybe let's say holder. And in this holder class, suppose I have got uh, maybe let's say number, maybe I'll put this as an ID. And here I have got suppose, maybe let's say um, employee's name, maybe e name. So, so we have got ID and e name as two properties. So what you do then is instead of selecting only name, you actually ask new. Maybe I should again comment this so that we can refer it later and paste it one more time. So I'm going to ask now, that is, I am not interested in getting, getting only name. I'll say get me a new object of which type now get me a new object of type holder every time we'll put here id is equal to emp dot number and get me ename equal to emp dot name now and this is what is more important so now if you ask me what is this result let's have a look at it guys that it's a i enumerable which means a collection of type holder so var item which means one holder in the holder collection and now if you see item dot 
what do you get now you get id and you get ename here so you may print the id plus you may print so called you can say ename as well so i'm going to convert this into true string and then console dot read line finally if you run the code it's going to ask a question say enter p and you will get the respective data onto the console now if you notice people do create holder like classes to hold the customized data completely so my question will be again what if i don't want to create a class again i am going to want comment this code so what will happen if at all i don't create a holder class at all now can you guess what has happened here we have just asked to create a object of some class which we will not create and who is going to go and create a class object now will be rather compiler for us so this is going to be anonymous class objects now which will be created after query execution will be will be holding that into a result and that's what we are going to go and print on the console the same code if you run again if you put here suppose uh, m you will get the respective details on the console then which means are we creating a holder class by ourselves to hold the data no maybe my purpose was only printing the data if purpose was only printing you wanted to have a result which is read only then why to create a class let's use anonymous object anonymous type in case of dot net here and what we have further is ultimately a collection which will hold into var result right now now isn't that simple so this is where we are going to go and take a break and we'll discuss some other features in some